beautiful morning to all our viewers. I believe God has kept you well and I believe you are all doing good, you are all doing fine. This is your life today with your favorite host, Alice Nuts, Monday to Friday, that is 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We are streaming live here at HBO West TV, talking health. Yeah, we are talking health, but I swear your life today is a very crucial aspect of life because we need to fuel our journey eh? <laughs> we need to fuel our lives we need to, to aim at, at, at yielding higher and yielding much concepts as far as uh, income is concerned and do not forget that this show is probably sponsored by the world is fast living alkaline coffee we have it in four flavors cappuccino original latte and sugar free and as well, do not forget that this show is probably sponsored by Toko Schools. We have a variety for you that is right here from Chinagaten, um, uh, primary level, and as well, um, a secondary and vocation institute. And straight away, without wasting any further time, I know people are eagerly, uh, eagerly waiting to know. They're like, ah, what, is she, what does she have for us in stock today? Uh, what, is she, what is she presenting to us today? Yeah, very simple and very brief. You're going to look at creating your own market in MLM. That is multi level marketing. In network marketing, the one thing you need is an ever increasing home market. It's just an ever increasing home market. How would you get that? How are you going to be able to get that increasing home market? It's by first knowing how to work with your initial home market. Then by knowing how to go beyond the initial home market you have and the new home market from the cold zone. Although your current home market could be one of your biggest assets for doing this, it is not your only asset. Uh, before I go in further, your initial home market, these are your friends, your family members, your relatives, you understand? The people started with, like, like you, you, you're really close to, those are your initial home markets. But how are you going to go beyond? Because at the most percentage, these initial markets, are, um, they frustrate us. And... If you're frustrated from there, that means you're, you're not going to be able to go further. But how are you going to overcome that? Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, knowing your resources and how to handle them correctly is all critical in MLM business and building scale. Let's take a look. The friends and family. Almost always the first recommendation and referrals you turn to are the people you know, usually friends and family. In other words, your, your initial warm market, as I've told you. Not always the easiest, the warm list is that is a recommended place to start. More than traditional brick and motor business formats, more than online and formula to, and formulas. Today's network marketers aim to building a business that connects people and products together across the broad. So if we are aiming at building and connecting with people across the board and not only uh, in, in the circles that we live in, many varied social structure, many varied social strata and geography boundaries online melted this away. The online system has melted this away. It has melted the boundaries that we have uh, 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 across us away. And, 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 and when you look a long time ago and this new playing field de de detects his or her activities and forces him or her to learn new skills and engage in new fields activities like social media, blogging, uh, web, web banners, to name a few, lots of the network marketing and networkers, private messages, Skype and texting as well as and it's an incense. Network marketing has gone digital. We are really in a digital world, yeah? and as a result, you have a much bigger playing field. You have a much bigger playing field than ever before in the history and in the history and the science and the knowledge of network marketing. Yeah? Uh, before, um, before uh, when network marketing had just uh, invented into the world, into the society, and uh, people when people were in my field with businesses, with work, and all that, and I mean. I mean, selling off their times for them to work, to, to get a, a source of income. I mean, uh, network marketing was literally 
through the, the, the connections that you have, through the circles that you have. But here we can go viral. I mean, I'm here speaking from Uganda, but someone in Namibia can uh, probably see me very well as someone from Nigeria, uh, from, someone from Philippines, and, I mean, someone from Congo, I mean, someone from Kenya. We are like across the border, like someone can get, really get to understand what you want and where we have to do it and how, where we have to be. I mean, I mean, you have your businesses across the borders. And this has been made easier through social media. I mean, now we have a bigger platform for us to to to, to invest and, and and to get prospects and to invite and as well as uh, uh, connect with people and turn them into our closest. I mean, uh, and turn them into our family. Then, however, one fundamental stage, one fundamental stage, the same and applies more than current marketplace. An MLM business must have passed its initial warm market list as quickly as possible and develop a new warm market uh, personally. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry for that. So before you go to the cold market, this is going to stay and this will stay forever. You always begin with the warm market you have. You always begin by the friends you have. You always begin by the family members you have. Those who are part of the more traditional warm list, including those who are not initially interested in your opportunities or products, will have to be counted or worked around in a professional and honest manner that does not pass them away and resources to, research, to reach out into the cold market needs to be developed. I mean, you need to get to learn how to deal away with them how to handle them, how to figure out the, the, the objections they are going to give you, and then use that very knowledge or that very idea that you've learned from them to pursue to go on to another level of understanding who to work with, whom to work with, I mean, how to work with, and I mean, whom to sell your products to, I mean, how and to where, I mean, all that, because initially this... On, uh, one market that we have there, it's always a bias. To me, they are always a bias. But there are people that are going to come back later after seeing you become a progress and a success. And then, do not persuade them. Eh? Do not persuade them. And one must learn the requisite skills to work that cold market. Creating new one market leads to routinely. The fundamental idea that one should never violate is never ban the warm market prospects. Remain on, remain one of the greatest resources for the growth of an MLM downline. Do not, do not ban the warm market because at one time, when this person now wants all starts to believe in you, is that it's going to be the resource that you're going to put below your downline. So if you bias them, if your people ended it in rangos, in words, so that means you won't have someone to put below your downline. So just stay connected with them, treat them right. Ma, there are just a simple mannerism that we have to learn so that we overgo this. We get family and friends who continue to respect you will give you the referrals. Those who respect you and those who believe in you will give you the referrals. Be your customer and when circumstances change in their lives, may actually say yes to your presentation one day. Look and criticize and screen, screen, uh, like criticize those who, who really believe in you amongst your family members and amongst your friends who believe in you and those who trust in you and those who officially use your products day in and day out. They are going to give you leads. They are the people who are going to give you connections, who are going to lead you to bigger people that are, you're going to work with in your business. Here are five MLM training tips which apply not only to traditional world market but also to online families and circles of friends. Never insult someone for his or her decision not to participate with you in your business. People have rights why they, they have uh, thoughts and serious reasons as to why they don't want to work with you or as to why they don't want to engage themselves in, in a particular business or in a particular product use. So never insult them. Because uh, it, it, we are not meant all to be doctors, we are not all meant to be teachers, we are not all meant to be networkers, we are not all meant to be, I mean lawyers and all that so people have their own personal opinions then be wise no really means no forever as some someone can say no today but tomorrow will be a super yes to you so you just need to be wise and then objections and critical gossiping about past failures and bad experiences can be powerful life lessons and actually this has just 
helped me out of of of, of some of, of a recent um, situation where someone just had to bring in my past, that the things I did at the past, and I mean, those are lessons from which we learn from. You get. So when someone tries to bring in the past to you, it's a lesson. Do not take it as an objection that like someone wants to put you down. Is their intention might be putting you down, but you wisely focus, stay focused, and put your eyes open like this and be like, okay, what did I do? So this is a this is something that I shouldn't do again and learn from it and continue in the world. I mean, let the world move on. This is fuel for you to better yourself. I mean, <laughs> oh, wow. And it's uh, it, uh, I mean, I mean, it's all in the numbers, not in the yeses. It's all in the numbers, not in the yeses, or in the noes. It's all in the numbers. Continue. Look, I like it. I like it when uh, when when uh, applying student Paul Eager was training and he said he woke up every morning to go and look for noes, not for yeses, because it's from the noes, from the continuous noes, that he once got this strong leg of his. That is a yes to him, and definitely we are all now below him. You get don't bang them, move on. If someone says no, do not bang on them, just move on, just move on and let life uh move on as well. It's your life to them with your favorite host, Alice Nuts, uh, streaming in live from here, HBMS TV, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. as I'm um. As I'm concluding, allow me to leave with this quote. Cooperation must be earned, not demand. Cooperation must be earned, not demand. As you go on to look for to creating more warm market around you, to creating more circles around you, make sure you understand this that cooperation must be earned and it's not demanded for. So those who do not want who do not want to work with you, it's a good way to go. Let them be. And those who are willing to work with you, they'll come. And they work with you. Uh, stay blessed. Uh, thumbs up to the director HBM and Stevie and doing a great work. I um, mean, actually, is the reason as to we have uh, in life today. And thumbs up to your favorite host, Alice Nat. <laughs> Oh, but then you people, <laughs> yes, uh, thumbs up to your favorite host, Alice Nats, who, who does research and enable <laughs> us to have mm, life today, and as well, uh, thumbs up to the people behind the cameras and the, the HBOMS family. Love you all, stay blessed. Uh, till next time, till tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that your life today is here for you to improve on your well-being, to improve on your finances, and to improve in each and every hardship that has been in your life. I mean, as far as business is concerned. Bye bye.